So you want to learn how to write a function rule. A function rule is a way to get from one number to another number. The rule that you're writing is the process that you would follow to get from one to the other. So let's write out a little set of numbers here just real quick. Um, let's say one, two, three, four, and five, nine, thirteen, seventeen. So let's say we're given this table of numbers, and we want to write a function rule for it. What we're doing is writing the rule that takes one number on the left-hand side and makes it into the number on the right-hand side. Now, here, there's a number of ways to do that, and that's often the case. There's often a number of ways to get between any one number and any other number. But what we need to do is find a rule that works for all of them. We can see here that the numbers on this side go up by one each time. Yeah, 1 to 2, 2 to 3, 3 to 4, yeah. The numbers on this side go up by 4 each time. 4, 4, 4. So what we're looking for is something that's a multiple of 4. Our output, the number that keeps coming out, is has another 4 added on each time. So this number down here is going to represent a multiple of 4, some number of 4s. Now, it's the fourth number in the term, and it's 17. And I happen to know that 4 times 4 is 16. So it looks to me like maybe it might be one more than whatever that multiple of 4 is. If it was just 16 here, and this was 12, and this was 8, and this was 4, then this would just be take our number and multiply by 4. But since it's one bigger than that, it looks to me like we're supposed to take our number, multiply it by 4, and then add 1. And that'll give us our output number. Now we can try that and see. If we were to take 1, multiply it by 4, and then add 1, would we get 5? Yeah, that would work. What happens if we did it for the second one? 2 times 4 plus 1, take our number, multiply by 4, add 1. Is that 9? Yes, it is. So that does work. 3 times 4 is 12, plus 1 is 13. Yep. And 4 times 4 is 16, plus 1 is 17. Yep. So this rule then, multiply it by 4 and add 1, is how we get from one number to another. To write it as a function, we just put the number in as a variable and the output also as a variable so that then we can use this process, this multiply by 4 and add 1, with any number we want and find what number is associated with it, what number is the output when we put a specific number in to our little process here, our times 4 plus 1 process.